Good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever and whenever you are. My name is Benjamin, and welcome to another Game Maker tutorial. This is part 13 for the RPG Basics series. And in this video, we're going to add a few new states to our enemy object so that it can be a little bit smarter. It won't really be smart, but it can be maybe look a little bit more. Uh, it won't just stand there. They won't just go right to try and attack the player. You know, they'll have like a sight range that the player has to go inside of for them to start chasing and stuff like that. So let's, um, I'm gonna plug in my uh, Xbox controller real quick. Well, actually, no, it's not really that important. I'll just use, I'll just use the keyboard for this one. Okay. Open up your uh, enemy object right here, and we're going to give it a few new instance variables. Okay. Uh, first one we're going to give it is we're going to give it a target. Well, let's give it um, actually a state. And we're going to set its state equal to script enemy idle state, which we haven't created that state yet. That's okay, though. We're gonna give it. We're gonna give it an alarm to alarm zero is equal to room speed, which is just thirty. So if you want, you can replace that with thirty times i random range. Two five. Okay, so we're gonna be using this alarm. When when the player isn't close to the enemy, the enemy is going to move and then stop. And then move a little bit and then stop. And then move a little bit and then stop, right? It's going to wander around the room a little bit. So we're going to use this alarm to tell the enemy when to move and stop, basically. Okay? Then we need to give it a sight, which is, I'm going to just set this to 64. So it'll have a sight range of 64 pixels. Then I'm going to give it also two other variables called target x, set that to zero, target y, set that to zero. So our enemy will have a target x and a target y, which is where it's going to be walking to, the direction it's going to be going. And that should just simplify some things for our enemy a little bit here. Now that we've done that, we need to create our script enemy idle state. I'm actually just going to copy this right here, control C, create a new script. I'm going to call this script enemy idle state, script enemy idle state, okay? Now, what we're going to do for now is this isn't going to do absolutely anything. Now, we need to uh, add the alarm event, okay? We don't actually have to... Um, do anything in here but we do need to add a comment so that it doesn't del delete this event so we're just going to call this wander alarm and that will prevent game maker from deleting this alarm okay now let's our scripts here are a little bit unorganized it's getting we're getting quite a few scripts so let's start organizing them i'm going to right click in here and do insert group we'll call this player states and we can drag in the move state, the dash state, the attack state. Okay. I'm going to right click again over here, insert group. I'm going to name this one helper scripts. And inside of this one, I'm going to drag in the script get face and the script get input. Now we're going to create a new group here as well. We're going to call this enemy states. And we're going to drag the script idle state in there. Okay. Now our enemies are going to have more than just the script idle state. So let's create a few new scripts. We'll do a script wander. Let's see, a script enemy wander state. right there and we're also going to do a script enemy chase 
state. Script enemy chase state. There we go. We're going to drag these up into our enemy states. Now, what we're doing here, setting up this state system, is helping us to prepare for the next few videos where we can uh, give our enemies an attack state and maybe a stall state if it gets hit or after it attacks. Stuff like that. So we're, we're preparing for those. But first thing we need to do is... Uh, we already have the move or the chase state script. If we come into the enemy here and come into the step event, you can see right here we're already moving towards the player. So we're going to copy this right here. Control C, or actually Control X, and move this into our chase state right here. Okay? Because that already chases. And then inside of here, instead of running that code, we're going to run the state. Script execute state. And then we can just change this to run the current state, I guess. So our enemy won't do anything, though, because right now it's in the idle state, and the idle state doesn't do anything. So it's just going to stand there and do absolutely nothing at this point. So let's, uh, let's change some stuff inside of our enemy idle state. Let me pull it up here. Um, okay. We're actually going to write a couple little helper functions for the enemies too. So I'm going to right click inside of our enemy states folder. And we're going to insert a group, and I'm going to call this enemy helper scripts. And inside of here, we're going to, I'm going to right click on that group, create a new script, create script, and I'm going to name this one script enemy choose next state this is just going to be a little script that will choose the next state for our enemy um, based on the alarm and just this is what's going to help it wander around a little bit so if alarm zero is less than or equal to zero we're going to do state equals choose, right? We can use that to choose script enemy wander state or script enemy idle state. So it will choose randomly between those two states, either idle or wander. Then what we can do is we want to we need to reset the alarm. So alarm 0 is equal to room speed times i random range. So i random range just gives you a number between, you know, just gives you a random number within this range, 2 and 4, that will always be an integer. That's what the i stands for is integer. So it will never be like 2.5. It will always be either 2 or 3 or 4. Technically, it wouldn't matter if it was 2.5. That wouldn't really be a big deal. But... Then we're going to set the target x. Target x equals random room width. Target y equals random room height. So what this does is it just gives our enemy a random point in the room to try and move to. Uh, because when it's in the wander state, we want it to just kind of wander aimlessly. So this is giving it a random point in the room to try and move to. Okay, so now we have that script. We're going to write one more now that's going to be called check for player. Because if the player object doesn't exist in the room, then the enemy needs to know that so that it doesn't try and move towards the player anymore. So right click on the enemy helper scripts. Go to uh, create script. We're going to name this script check for player. OK. 
Okay. If instance exists, object player. So that's, we check to make sure the player object exists right there. Okay. If the player object exists, var dis, we need to get the distance to it. Equals point distance x, y, object player dot x, object player dot y. So if the player object does exist, then get the distance to it. If the distance to the player is less than our site, state equals script enemy chase state. Else script enemy choose next state and we're just calling that one we're not that's why we have the parentheses after it okay so that should check for the player if the player exists we're going to start chasing if the player exists um actually we want to inside of here we want to call this right here if the player doesn't exist else right there so if the player doesn't exist in the room then we also want to call that right there. So that's nice that's in a little helper script. Now let's fix these states. So come into the idle state. And we're just in the idle state, it's really easy. We just call script check for player. That's it. We've already written all the code that's inside here. This will check for the player. And if we're close enough to the player, we'll start chasing it. So Really easy right there to just move towards the player in the idle state. Idle state's done. Now what we need is we need the wander state. So open up, I'll actually open up the chase state first. So inside of the chase state, we're going to, before we, before we chase the player here, we're going to, we're going to run the script check for player to make sure that the player is in the room and uh, and that everything's working that way. Then we check to see if the player exists. If the player does exist, what we're going to do is actually copy this right here where we move, copy this down here and get rid of this right here. So if the player does exist, then we're going to set our target X. Well, does our script check for player do that? It doesn't. We could do it in there, though. It would make sense to do it in there. Yeah. So um, if you middle click on the script check for player right here, it'll open it up. It actually makes more sense to do this. If we change to the chase state, what we're going to want to do is set target x equal to object player dot x target y equals object player dot y okay and we can remove this completely right here sweet and then what we do is instead of moving right here where we have the tar players x and the players y just change that to target x and target y okay and we're actually going to use this same code right here for our wander state. So copy this right here, control C. And we're done with the chase state. And we should be able to open up the wander state. And in here, we're just going to do the same thing. Script, check for player, and then move towards the target. Super easy. Really simple code here. Now we should be able to run the game and okay so you can see um, they're kind of wandering around that one stops right there 
and you know here in a couple seconds they'll start moving again yeah so they're wandering when I get within a range it starts chasing me like this if I get outside the range it's gonna start wandering again so it's just going in that direction still So they work a little bit better now, and uh, they move kind of slow. You might up their speed. I kind of feel like, what's what's the speed that they're moving at, 0.25? I don't know, maybe, maybe 0.5 is going to work a little bit better for this. I'm not sure. We still need to fix their movement code a little bit because I think they can be a little twitchy. That doesn't look too bad, actually. But yeah, point, point 0.5 seems to be... A slightly better speed for them. So now they kind of have some enemy behavior, more like moving around randomly and not just holding still in the room. And that sets us up for being able to add some attacking into them to where they can attack the player and we can move on from there. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hopefully it helped you. Real quick, I wanted to mention I'm going to be doing my Udemy course sale. Because right now it's on sale for $10, my complete Game Maker course on Udemy. So I'm going to be doing that until the end of this month. And then I'm going to take it down. I'll bump the price up a little bit again. Uh, but yeah, now's your chance. If you want to get it at a really good deal, you can do that. Um, I just want to say thank you to everyone who's already gotten it and uh, has supported me. Because that really helps me quite a bit. Uh, but if this video was helpful to you as well, be sure and like this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe. And I will talk to you guys later.